All right, so if you follow along on the channel at all, you know that I like to do product reviews occasionally. And one of the products that I really like to do reviews on is uh, Yeti products. I have quite a few Yeti products, and they make a good quality product. And I'm a big fan of uh, all of their, uh, everything that they make, essentially. Never had a problem with anything uh, until now. So, specifically what I'm talking about are my Tundra Halls. So I've got two of these things. I've got a white Tundra Hall that I've had uh, a little over a year. And I've got a charcoal Tundra Hall that I've had uh, just about a year. So bought these things as soon as they come as soon as they came out to me they're the best cooler uh, that Yeti offers in their their cooler lineup love the wheels love the handle love the uh, the ice retention capabilities how cold it keeps things um, so I did a seven day test ice test in one of my previous videos and I'll put a link to that video down in the description and my coolers were outside for about seven days and this was not super hot temperatures I live in North Georgia. It was summertime, but it was about 85 degrees uh, for seven days straight, and obviously cooler at night. And these things were in direct sunlight uh, for probably about 60% of the day. What I noticed after the test, white cooler looked fine. Uh, the gray cooler, I'm sorry, the charcoal, uh, charcoal cooler started to kind of bow up a little bit on the ends. And I didn't think much of it at first because it didn't really, it didn't really matter. Um, but it continued to get worse. So I don't really know uh, why it did that, um, but it's, it's, it's bowed up now on both ends, and I'll show it to you here in just a minute, uh, to the point where it's uh, not sealing properly and it's letting out the cold air, and it just doesn't look right anymore. It looks, uh, it looks really bowed. Um, and I, I, again, I'll show it to you here in just a second. Um, so I went to Yeti's website because I bought this charcoal uh, charcoal tundra hall from the yeti.com website and i looked up the warranty information on the tundras and it says five year warranty so um, i filled out a warranty claim form and submitted that and pretty easy to do it's right there on their website and i took a few pictures you have to include pictures with it and they kind of advertise on their website that the whole process is going to take about two weeks and it's going to take them about three to four business days to get back with you. So <clears throat> I submitted my claim on Monday night, and today's Thursday, and I got some emails back today saying that my uh, warranty claim was uh, accepted and uh, to ship the cooler back, and they'll either uh, replace or they'll either exchange it or repair it uh, at their discretion and then ship me back a new cooler or, again, a, a, a repaired one. So they gave me an RMA number that I had to print out and I'm going to have to put that inside the cooler. And then they also gave me a prepaid uh, UPS shipping label. So all I really have to do is box this thing up. Essentially, I'm just going to wrap it in cardboard, uh, tape it up real good, and then I'm going to put the RMA number inside the cooler and then tape on the uh, prepaid UPS label. So pretty happy about the prepaid label. Um, it would have probably been pretty pricey to ship this cooler back to them. And then they said it'll take you know a couple of days to get the, to get my cooler, and then um, about a week for them to process. So a two, maybe three week uh, warranty period here before I'll see a new cooler. So I think that's pretty fair. Um, and so far the experience has been real good. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about when I say that the ends of the cooler are bowed. All right, so here's the white cooler, and uh, let me show you guys a couple things on this. So right here at the end. You see how that's tight. Um, there's not a gap there at all, and it's sealed. And then over here, same thing on this side. Looks really good. This is a 48 inch level. And you can't see a gap at all in the level where it sits on the top of the cooler. All right, so there's the gray cooler, or the charcoal cooler. And you can already see how this thing is bowed. Let me show it to you in a little bit more detail. So there is where the lid joins the body of the cooler. And I can almost get my finger in there. And you can see how it's kind of making the, the handles or the latches kind of pull a little bit to one side. So the other side of the cooler, kind of the same thing. And I can actually get my finger in on this side. So this side's actually worse than the other. And you can see the handle there doesn't look right. All right, so there's the 48-inch level on the charcoal cooler. 
and you can already see there's a huge gap there from where this cooler lid bowed. So here's a pretty good shot of the white tundra hall next to the charcoal one and you can see there's absolutely no gap there and then you can see the size of the gap there. So certainly something is not right uh, with the charcoal cooler. Uh, the, the charcoal line of coolers is not new to Yeti um, so I'm sure if this had been a problem that this happened to a lot of people, um, people would have talked about it, complained about it. I've never heard of this being an issue with any of their uh, darker colored coolers. All right, well, I hope that that uh, certainly illustrated why I'm filing, this, filing the warranty claim. And uh, so far, again, the process has worked the way it should. So I submitted my information. Um, I provided proof of purchase, purchase date, and I provided the appropriate pictures. Um, they said it would be three to four business days. It was three business days, and they've approved me to return the cooler. So I'm going to get this thing packaged up, and I'm going to send it in. Uh, I'm going to send it in tomorrow, which is Friday, so this is going to be day five and we'll update you guys on what happens next. All right, so as you can see, I just unboxed my uh, brand new Yeti Tundra Hall uh, charcoal uh, cooler. So uh, Yeti stood behind their product. Uh, the warranty process worked, I'd say flawlessly, um, and they sent me a brand new cooler. So this isn't a repaired cooler, um, it's brand new. So you can't beat that. Um, they stood behind their product and they backed it up 100%. So overall, this process took about 12 days. Um, I, I initiated the process through the warranty claim on uh, Yeti.com. Um, I did my part. I provided the uh, uh, date of purchase, uh, where I purchased it, which was Yeti.com, and provided the uh, appropriate pictures that they actually ask for uh, before they accept your warranty claim. They said it would be three to four days. On Thursday, I got the emails with the RMA, uh, number that I had to put inside the cooler and the prepaid shipping label to UPS. On Friday I mailed it out. Uh, they got it Tuesday. Wednesday they shipped me a new cooler and I received it Friday. So altogether about 12 days. Their website says it's about a 14 day process. So right on the money. So over the years I've had quite a few Yeti coolers. I've sold some. I've bought some. Um, I've never had a problem with any Yeti product that I've bought. I have a lot of the tumblers. I have um, just all kinds of Yeti products. Uh, big fan of their product, big fan of the uh, the quality of their products. And, uh, you know, I don't blame Yeti for the uh, defective cooler. Uh, these things happen in manufacturing processes. Um, what I really like is that they stood by their cooler, uh, backed it up, made the process simple, didn't cost me a dime. And, uh, you know, you just can't get better than that. So, good job, Yeti. All right, so if you like this video, you like the content of the channel, hit that subscribe button. And hey, thanks for watching.